the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to use your balloon copter. So you should have inside your balloon helicopter little packet, there should be two balloons. I've got my two balloons here. There's something that looks like this. It's kind of circular with a little bit on the top and a bit on the bottom. It might be blue or it might be a different colour. And something that looks like this, which is my one's yellow. Yours might be a different colour. It's got three bits poking out of it. The first thing you need to do, you should also have three wings. You need to attach the wings to this little thing, the thing with the three bits sticking out of it, like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on like this. And then one on like this. And one on like this. You'll notice they're all at just slightly different angles, like a helicopter. So it looks a little bit like this. So yours might well be a different colour to my one. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to put the slightly smaller bit, this bit here, inside the balloon, like this. And then you're going to blow the balloon up through this bit here, like this. Now what I've done is I've just pinched the end there so that it doesn't fly away. If you want to, you could do it the other way around. You could blow the balloon up and then put the blue thing in, but it might be a little bit more fiddly that way. It just depends how you want to do it. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to attach the blue bit, or it's blue on mine, to the yellow bit, so my bit's yellow, like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to throw it up in the air and let it go. And hopefully what's going to happen is it's going to fly away. I'm going to see if my one works. It's flown away. You can't see it. It's flown completely off screen. Now it's landed next to me here and I want to tell you a little bit about what happens. So when you let go, the air comes out of the balloon and it goes out through these bits here. So it goes out through this yellow bit, through this yellow bit through this yellow bit and into the wings. And that causes these propellers to spin. So that's what makes it spin. Now when your propellers spin, they create a force called lift. The way this works is when something's spinning, it creates moving air. And moving air has a lower pressure than not moving air, so air that's staying still. So what happens is these spin like this, they make the air around them move, which gives it a slightly lower pressure which means that we end up with low pressure here, high pressure underneath, and things will always move in the direction of the lower pressure. So they always move from high to low. So if we can create low pressure on top of the wings, high pressure underneath the wings, then what will happen is this will move upwards in the direction of the low pressure. Once your balloon runs out of air, it means the air stops going through here, which means that it stops spinning, which means we stop creating that low pressure, and so it just falls back down to the ground because of gravity. That might be a little bit complicated. That's some quite complicated science. It's called Bernoulli's principle, if you want to look it up a little bit more. So the simpler explanation is just that the air makes the propellers spin, and they create something called lift, which lifts it up in the air. It's just like how a helicopter works.